There are three major changes to Office 2007. First one is known as the Office button. Then there is the Quick Access Toolbar. And this video will focus on what is known as the ribbon. You will notice that the menu bar is missing. It has been replaced with tabs, which would change the ribbon. The ribbon has all of the tools that you could ever use for editing and working with your documents. It is generally sectioned off, looking, working from left to right. The items that you might use more frequently will be toward the left-hand side of the ribbon. Those that may be more advanced or used less frequently toward the right. Taking a look at the ribbon here for Word, well, you'll notice that it, we have a home ribbon. When you first launch Word, it will open in the home ribbon. We have the clipboard. We have the font section. Anything you could possibly do to a font, you'll find it here. Paragraph formatting, line spacing, left indent, or left justified, right justified, all of that is paragraph formatting. You'll find that within this region. Styles, these are a bit more advanced. We'll leave this up to, to you to play with. Uh, we may have some future tips on those. And then the editing section. Taking a look at another tab, here's the insert tab. Notice that when we click the insert tab, the ribbon changes. Again, you can insert pages, different types of pages. You can insert tables, insert your illustrations, pictures, clip art, etc. Insert links, and then you might get to some items which are perhaps a little more advanced or used less often. Header, footer, text, symbols. Page layout. You've got various themes. This is something that you might not use uh, in the might not have used in the past, but you may find interesting to play around with. However, this section here you'll use quite a bit. Changing your margins, the orientation, size of your paper, columns, that's your page layout. You have the back page background, you get to some more advanced features here, watermarks, page colors, and borders. Paragraph formatting here in terms of the layout and then how you might arrange items on the page. References is a fairly new section. While some of these uh, items were uh, available in other, in other versions of Word, they were not as accessible. Here you have the reference tab. You can see you have a table of contents. This will create a table of contents out of a longer document. A footnoting tool will insert footnotes. Citation and bibliography. Students will enjoy this. Uh, this is a way to actually create your citations. You'll notice that there are many different versions here. MLA is on this list. Uh, you do have to learn how to use that tool. We have the captions, captions for pictures, and the index section. Clicking on mailings, this is where you can do simple single envelopes or labels. You can also do a mail merge. Again, Working from left to right, you'll find the items that you might use more frequently toward the left, those less frequently on the right, and actually the workflow goes from left to right. Reviewing a document, here's your spell check. You have uh, various uh, other tools to use with your proofing. More advanced features here might be the comments in the tracking, track changes, comparing documents. And then the view will take a, will show the way that you want to view this. In this case, it's the page layout view, full screen, outline view, draft mode. Some of you may remember that there were there were some buttons down at the bottom. Those are no longer there. That was one way of changing your view. All all of your tools now are found at the top of your screen on the ribbon. Now the ribbons, just quickly to show, are similar from one application to the next. So here is Microsoft Excel 2007, the Home tab, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, that's unique to Excel, Data Review, and View. You'll notice that the Home tab starts with the clipboard, the font, alignment is a little bit different. Numbers are a little bit different as well because numbers are specific to Excel. And then we get to styles. These styles relate to cell styles and contents of cells rather than headings. And then you have items which are very specific to Excel. Taking a quick look at the ribbon for PowerPoint 2007, here's the home ribbon. Again, you have the clipboard. 
You have slides, which again is unique to PowerPoint, but then you have font items, and you'll notice that it's grayed out right now. But if I were to begin to type something here, this is no longer grayed out. This is telling me that I can actually use these, these tools here. If I'm not able to type anything, or if I cannot use a tool, it is grayed out and unaccessible. Paragraphs and drawings. So again, the ribbon is the, one of the main changes in Office 2007, and you'll want to spend some time getting used to the ribbon. That's where all of your tools are.